Hello everyone, this is Karthik Selvaraj and in this video 3 of IBM WebSphere MQ file translation tutorials, we will be seeing about FTE commands and we will see a demo on how to execute them. So, I will straight away log into the server. Okay. So, in our example, we have installed MQFT in a Windows server. So, if you haven't seen my first two videos on MQFT, please watch it because it would be useful for you to understand this video. So, we have installed it in C drive. So, in C drive under program files, IBM WebSphere MQ bin, you could see a lot of bad files over here or application files over here. And uh, some starts with FT extension. So, these are a lot of application files, and you can see some bad files with FT extensions like here. So, these are the ones that we will be using to create components for uh, MQFTE. <coughs> so, there is not going to be any other uh, extra coding required to deal with MQFTE components. Okay. So, uh, if uh, your installation has been done in a Linux or Unix system, the path in which these files would be available would be opt slash mqm slash bin. And in that case, it would be a shell script because bad script is only supported in Windows OS, whereas in Unix or AX, uh, shell scripts has been supported. But the functionality remains the same. So each bad file has its own functionality, and we'll see how to know about each functionality of the file. Okay. So let us take or start with a simple example. So suppose if you want to know the version of FT that you are using. Just open command prompt and uh, you need to open it with the admin access that would be useful otherwise you might get an authentication error so better to open a command prompt with as a administrator user and uh, FT display version okay. so you can see that uh, the version of MKFT that we are using is 8 and 6 pack 4 so this is a very simple example and uh, you have so many other functionalities as well suppose you want to create an agent this is the bad file you want to use and uh, the naming gives you pretty good definition on what each the each of the bad file does so ft create agent is to create an agent okay okay but if you want to know what are the parameters that needs to be passed for this bad file just press hyphen h and it will list you the details which needs to be passed as parameters for this command. So, the syntax of this command is ft create transfer hyphen agent name, you need to provide a name, and uh, hyphen agent qmgr, you need to provide the queue manager name, the queue manager host details, the port details. So, you can check what are the required details you need to provide while executing this command and you can see that these are the required parameters so agent name agent queue manager or required parameters whereas the channel or the port number or optional parameters okay so by default it will take one so you can go through it and come to know more about what the command does okay so in windows it's not case, case sensitive i mean these commands but if i were uh, executing it in a Linux system or a Unix system, I need to make sure it is case sensitive. So, here it should have been a capital C instead of a small c. Windows is not case sensitive. So, we haven't got any errors. So, FT commands are basically a set of commands to create or delete components or to modify components with respect to MKFT. So, we will not be using any things other than these for uh, the whole of uh, creation, deletion and modification. Okay, So that is all about for this video. We will see how to set up a coordination queue manager in my next video and thanks for watching this.